Forex is just a very attractive and beautiful business. Almost everyone is dreaming about mastering it so they can work from their home. A man will look at the Forex chart and think about those billions of dollars floating in front of him. And hearing the stories of those who have become millionaires by trading Forex, he will first think, start looking for the holy grail strategy that will make him rich in Forex, to achieve his dreams, to provide a good life to his family, and to spend more time with his kids, so he will be free from the work and from everything in this world. Is Forex really like that? When any beginner start learning Forex, the very first thought comes to their mind is, I need a strategy. I need an automatic system to tell me when to buy or to sell. Then the poor man might spend a couple of years without finding anything. He will apply every strategy he found in the internet and will be shocked that all of them have failed. Then he will realize that there are trading EA or robots for MetaTrader 4 and he will buy them from the creators only to find out they were a joke and no man has ever become successful trader because of a robot and sadly at this point so many people will quit forex because they have failed to find that big secret strategy to make them rich in a day and night and they will say forex is just a big scam and no one has ever made money from it while the real truth is these beginners were digging for gold in the wrong place let's take for example a big company which have thousands of employees and there is a development and strategy department and there is also accounting department now let's assume there is no accounting department in this company do you think it has any chance to survive in the market by depending only on the strategy team or let's assume this company has no strategy department can this company survive with only accounting department the answer for both questions is absolutely not every company is built of a full teams working together to achieve their goals they organize and arrange every single detail along with each other. When you are a forex trader, you are the company. You are the chairman. You are the manager. You are the accounting team. And you are the strategy team. And you are the labor. You can never survive in this business without all these teams working together. Having the strategy alone is not enough at all. Having the accounting team or money management alone is not enough at all as well. They both complete each other. And here is your main part and main secret to be a successful forex trader. You have to coordinate the strategy alone with the money management. And now at this point, it's all up to you how to handle both of the strategy and money management by yourself. The biggest mistake you can do is trying to copy someone else rather than being yourself every successful trader having their own system in trading a system they have built by themselves which is more suitable for their own situation choosing the right money management system is totally up to you only because you know better how much your income and you know how much you can invest and you know better how much you can risk per trade and most importantly you know better if you can recover the losses or not also every successful trader is having their own strategies some traders using indicators some traders using naked chart and also there are some traders they like to enter 10 trades per day and some other traders they prefer to enter only one trade per month so it's really up to every trader to pick what system they are really comfortable with as long as it does work for them and they are making profits using the system. There is a nice quote when someone has said, success is not a bus stop, it's the whole journey. Using a strategy is never the secret of being a successful trader. 
It's about how you handle your money management. It's about how you handle the losses and how you handle the profits as well. So let's now see what are the things that we need to focus at in order to become really a much better Forex traders. The most important thing is you should really love Forex. Make it your best friend and try to understand it more every day. It's very important that you become fully dedicated to learn more every day. You should eat it, you should sleep it, you should breathe it. Don't ever stop learning Forex. And the second part is the losses. You should know how to react to your losses. The losers, they will look at the losses and they will think about the amount they have lost and the money that has been wasted. They will regret investing in Forex and eventually they will quit trading. While the winners, they never do that. They will look at the losses as the lessons from the past. A good trader will always review his losses and they will think what could have been done to avoid them and what was the reason to lose the trade. They will write it down on a note and review it every morning before start trading. And trust me, your trading experience will be unbelievably improved once you do that. You also need time to become a good trader and this is something up to your ability to learn and your personal experience in trading. Some traders, they need just few months to understand this business. Some other traders, they might need years to achieve it. But in the end, every hard work will pay back and for that I promise you, if you really put all your effort to learn trading and you really focused on it, I promise you that one day soon your dreams will become true. And the most important thing is, you need to control your emotions while you're trading. Stop thinking that you should always revenge the market when you lose a trade. Trading Forex is just cruel like any other business. You will never finish every day in profit and you will never get 100% results every day. You must accept that every month you will have a good days and some bad days. Only the losers, they will complain about the bad days ignoring all the successful days they had because with such mentality you can never survive in this business you must accept the losses and most importantly is to learn from them if you never learn your mistakes and you keep falling to them over and over then you are just wasting your time and money losing control of emotions is one of the most common reasons why people losing in trading forex or even quit it so the best thing you can do at this point is to come up with a money management plan where you dedicate a small amount to be possibly lost so you will have no hard emotions when you actually lose it. Trading Forex is very beautiful but it's never easy. It's very hard business and you will have to go through a very tough journey. A journey that will be full of obstacles, losses, rage, pressure and stress. But in the end, your hard work will pay you back. Don't ever think about the road. Think only about your destination. Think only about achieving your dreams and ignore all the hard times you will go through. And believe me, once you do that, you will be very proud of yourself. And now the world is yours. I can promise you, you can get whatever it is you want.